there was a little lamb, did you know that? Who was in the fields that night outside of Bethlehem. His name was Joshua. Joshua loved to be a lamb, except he was sad because he couldn't leap about like the other lambs did. His legs didn't work quite right, and he had some little smudges on him, and he didn't seem to fit in with others. But he did have a good friend named Abigail, and she was a funny friend for a lamb. She was a cow. Moo. But they were friends. And so one day, all of the other lambs and sheep were going to go to find some new grass in a new pasture with their shepherds. And Joshua was so excited, he couldn't wait. Except the other lambs made fun of him and said, you won't be able to make it, it's too far. And he was so sad. And one of the shepherds came and said, I'm sorry, Joshua, it is going to be too far for you. You go to the barn this night and be with Abigail there, and we'll return back tomorrow. Well, you can imagine how sad he felt. But Abigail reminded him that God has a special place for those who felt left out. He wasn't so sure in that moment. But they went back to the warm barn, and they had some food, and he knew that all of his friends were off going to another pasture. Finally, they got tired and they curled up. The little bitty lamb next to the great big old cow. But they kept each other warm. And then, as they were sleeping, Joshua thought he was dreaming about running and playing and frolicking, just like all the other lambs. And he was dreaming of a place where he too would feel like he fit in with everybody. Eventually, there was a noise in the barn, and it woke him up, and he wasn't so sure about that. And so he looked over, and there was a light on that's not normally on in the barn, and he nudged Abigail, and he said, Abigail, wake up, I'm scared. I don't know what's happening. And they looked over, and there was a woman, and there was a baby. And Abigail was just as uncertain as he was. Neither one of them knew what was going on. So Joshua tiptoed over, and the baby was crying because the baby was cold. And so the mother picked up the baby and put her next to him right on the hay. And at first, Joshua went to look for a blanket, because often the shepherds had blankets in the barn, but not on this night, because they had taken them all on the other trip. And so he realized, well, funny, I actually have warm, soft fur. I can keep the baby warm. So gently, he lay down next to the little baby. And the baby stopped crying and went to sleep. And the mother said, thank you, thank you. And suddenly, there was a man there. And he came and brought some strips of cloth. And he said, I'm sorry, Mary. This is all that I could find. It's hardly fit for a king. And she said, don't worry, this little lamb, this little lamb is keeping our king warm. And Joshua heard king, and he thought, people, we're in a barn. What's a king doing asleep in the barn as a baby? Well, he didn't understand. But suddenly there was a commotion at the door again. And there were all the shepherds that had come back from the other side of the valley. And they were all excited, and they said, did you see it? Did you hear it? There were angels, and they were talking to us, and they were telling us about this new baby that was going to be born. And so we came to see, hey, wait, Joshua, what are you doing there? Do you already know this baby? And Mary said, yes, he does. This baby is the one that Joshua has been praying for all this time, the one who would make sure that everybody knew that they had a special place, because we all have a special place, all of us, you and you and you and you and you and you and you, and, you. and even people we don't know, because God loves each and every one of us. And you know what? God is tucked away inside each and every one of us. Did you know that? Yes. You did? I'm so glad, because sometimes people forget 
they forget that God is in them, and they forget that God is in each other, even the people we don't always like very much. Not that we have any of those, probably, much. But do you see this box? What does it look like? A box. A, a Christmas box. But do you know what's in it? Well, inside the box is another box, and another box, and another box. Did you know it had so many boxes? Look at all these boxes inside this box. But now that you know, even with the lid on, what do you know about this box? There's more inside than you think. Yes. You got it. You got it. There's more love inside each one of you and everybody we come across. And when we forget, we just have to remember this box, right? And remember that God loves each one of us and has a special place for us. Of remembrance. Of remembrance. Do you think we can do that? Yes, we can do it. Awesome. Awesome. I think so, too. Now I'm going to make this little mess go away. Now, I'll tell you what, we can have an animal party. You can either leave your animals up here for the service so they can be right up with the manger during the service, and you can pick them up at the end. What's oh, a backpack? Wow, that's cool. Awesome. Or you can take it back to your seat if you'd like to hold on to your animal. But we'll call you up for the Eucharist itself. And right now, we have some prayers. Right? We're going to pray, and the congregation is going to pray with us. And I have a couple of you who are said that you'd be willing to help, right? Can I have all of you who are willing to help? All right. You ready, congregation? All right. The top one. Holy Jesus, you fill us with goodness, and we are grateful. Let us show with our lives. Holy Jesus, you invite us to serve, and we answer yes. Let us show with our actions. This one. Holy Jesus, you open our eyes to those in need, and we want to be faithful. Let us show with our love. Right. Holy Jesus, we want to live more deeply in your place. Show us the way. Holy Jesus, fill us this day with joy and understanding and grace that we may tell out the wonder of your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.